Hey friends, it's KT and this is a box. Specifically, this is a mail call from my good friend, Iron Gopher. He's a super talented creator, modder in the hobby space. Amazing, amazing work, incredible attention to detail. Uh, I have no idea what's in this box. Uh, Iron Gopher has sent me stuff like music toys and, and things like that in the past, um, but he recently told me that I was definitely on his list to receive one of his modded blasters. And I have a feeling that's what's in here, but I could be wrong. It could be a musical instrument. It could be something else weird. So we're gonna go on that journey together and open this up and find out. Um, whatever it is, huge thanks in advance to Gopher. Uh, if you have not checked out his work, you need to do that. He posts primarily on Instagram. Before we dig into this, I do wanna take a second to uh, give a little bit of a channel update because I haven't posted here in a while. This channel is not dead. Uh, there have been a number of creators who have been stepping away from YouTube lately for extremely reasonable reasons. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm not leaving YouTube entirely. Uh, I am shifting my efforts as Family Foam Sport away from this kind of video production. Um, I'm planning on doing some other kinds of content stuff. I'll be doing a lot of work on Instagram uh, and probably shifting a lot of my work towards a blog because the core of this channel has always been to reach families and parents and educate them about the hobby from an outsider perspective. And uh, it's challenging to reach that audience on this platform, as uh, as I have found. I'm still going to make one minute reviews. I'm gonna do my gift guides this year. I'm going to redo my guide to ammo that I last did in 2021. I have a video that I'm working on about how Nerf magazines are getting worse, concept videos like that. So I will still be around, but the Provisional Nerf News Network, which if you watched our most recent episode, is rebranding to the Foam News Collective, has been taking up a lot of my video production time and that project has been really successful at its goals. And so I want to be able to focus my video work time on that as much as I can while still hopefully achieving the goals of this channel. Enough of that, let's find out what's in this box. It is a long box. Let me tell you, there's so much cardboard in here. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, sealed packages of darts. Here's some elite darts. I was told that there's a note as well. Where's the note? Did I lose the note? Am I supposed to see the note first? Did I ruin everything? Oh, is that it? Oh, note. Whoa, the note is full of Iron Gophers. Filthy wizard sticker. <laughs> Here's the note. And the note says, Hello, Mr. Turtle. I wanted to acknowledge your contributions to the hobby and your general aptitude for being a decent human being. I do my best. So here's a blaster. This is the Monarch, named for the antagonist from the Venture Brothers cartoon. If you haven't, I recommend checking it out. I have watched it. I have not like watched it consistently or watched all of it, but uh, definitely a, a welcome reference. Externally, it's a sling fire two sledge fires, a nitron scope, and a big buck hunter light shooter rifle. Internally, it's a worker half dart conversion stock plunger tube with a 10 kilogram spring, worker metal bolt sled, lever, and reinforced priming gears with the ratchet removed. It'll do about 150 with a little love. It's fickle. There is also an SLS scar. The nitron scope has been converted to a bow style ring and pin sight. The magwell is set up for the included magazine, but can be used with other adapters. The mag release is fully custom, hand carved stainless steel, and a huge point of personal pride. Oh my goodness. I've seen you make mention of how much your lever action Saturn means to you, so this feels right. Enjoy. All my appreciation for the things you do. Gopher, I am so excited to show this to people and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So if you have not previously seen Gopher's work, it's time to witness. <laughs> the level, uh, first of all, I think one of the things you need to understand is that holding this, it feels solid. This finish feels original. This feels like it wasn't even painted. This just feels like this is just how it is. There's the Monarch logo on the side there. Look at this detailing. Check out the Nitron scope. Just. Oh my god. 
So going down the list, right? Externally, it is uh, a sling fire that's clearly here, and it has the metal lever system. Two sledge fires. You can see the back of the sledge fire here, the front of the sledge fire here with some heavy modification. This is actually the inside part of the sludge fire with the little holes in it uh, that's been exposed to make it an exterior part. You can see the aging and the chipping and the weathering to make it look like it has seen some things. There's Iron Gopher's signature right there on the stock. Look at that with the magazine. It is just such a work of art. I'm extremely excited and proud to own something like this. Thank you so much, Gopher, <laughs> for passing this on to me. Um, I will probably find an excuse to use it somewhere <laughs> at some point, but generally speaking, uh, it, it belongs in a museum. It belongs in a museum! So do you! This is the kind of piece I don't talk about a ton on this channel because I mostly talk about um, things that are designed for kid play, that are designed for outdoor public park play. This is kind of borderline uh, in terms of uh, it being something that I would be more likely to use in like a LARPing situation because it just looks so unique and like a piece of art with its own history. Um, I don't think it looks particularly realistic, but it does use a lot of darker colors uh, and, and might be something I wouldn't use in that setting. But that's not why you keep a thing like this. You keep a thing like this because it is just an absolute work of art. Most importantly, it feels nice to have amazing and talented friends uh, and to be able to uh, enjoy their work <laughs> in the flesh. So thank you so much, Gopher. Hello again. It is now a few weeks after I recorded the Monarch video. I just received this package from Grim Reaper 2458 and I figured, hey, why not mix these videos together? I'm trying to build a collection of the work of my friends because they just do amazing and beautiful work. I sort of know what's in this box. I don't know 100% of what's in this box necessarily, but I'm really excited to show it off. So let's just make that happen. This was a trade that I did um, for some stuff that Grim wanted for projects that, uh, that she's working on. And um, I got this package and I was like, oh, I didn't ship my package. So I, I just immediately went out and made that happen because uh, embarrassing. Embarrassing. Okay, so <laughs> right off the bat, there's some magazine stuffed in here. Is this a note that I can enjoy the crap? Uh, hope it reaches you in one piece. Keep up the great content, KT. Well, thank you, Grim. And we got the nice little Grim sketch right there. Delightful. We got some 12 round Nerf magazines with a bunch of tape on them. We have a, <laughs> a cut down shell off of a, is this a, this is either a Raider or a Rampage and it's just the grip portion of it. And it has the magwell still attached, which does get my brain turning, but there's probably nothing I need to do here. This is something I asked for at the last second. Um, this is, and I'm gonna double check myself on this, but I believe this is a blast hammer, <laughs> which is a vintage blaster from around when, oh, look at me like a doofus. Blast hammer is the one I have. It actually says on there that this is a detonator, LOL. Anyway, it is a hamp, right? Boom, He'll store an extra dart right there. Uh, and this is something I've always wanted for my vintage collection because it's definitely the kind of thing that I wanted when I was a kid. This one is actually in really good shape and, um, Grim says that she actually uh, thrifted this for like nothing a really long time ago. So was happy to send it to me. So I'm excited to add this to my collection. So thank you so, so, so much. Another 12 round magazine. Thrown in at the last second here is a uh, Boomco, whatever these things are called, the little Boomco pistol. These are just kind of cool and really fun. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't especially need that. And she was like, well, I'm sending it anyway. So uh, I will <laughs> add this to my Boomco collection. I do actually have Boomco straws and occasionally uh, plank with Boomco. So this will be fun. I think I have another one of these that's broken. So, so this is actually good that I have this now. This is obviously the main event. There's some broken plastic in the bottom here because this is kind of what we do, all of us, when we're sending packages back and forth. <laughs> we just throw extra broken plastic, but this is actually something that I would keep around because there's a complete nerf rail here. Um, what blaster did this come off of? 
It's obviously a mega blaster. If I had to guess, I think this came off of a uh, motor strike. I think because it has the like handle up top. That's my guess. I'll have to I'll have to test myself. But I buried my knife in magazines. Um, let's go ahead and get to the main event here. I know what this is, but I don't know exactly what she did to finish it. Look at this paint job. Okay. Just look at this. So take a close look. Right? So we've got this color fade paint job here from like a pinkish to bluish. Gorgeous. And on the other side, mirrored, right? Now check this out. Notice this grip. This is not a hammer shot grip. Um, so comfortable. No way. Oh, that is so nice. So now, now I'm really tempted to get one of those new plastic upgrade kits and go to town on this thing. Beautiful, beautiful work, Grim. Thank you so much for sending this my way. I'm working on uh, redoing the backdrop of my filming area uh, and putting some of the works of my friends up up on the wall uh, and this hammer shot uh, will be going going up there let me grab a dart i can at least shoot it on camera here we go i uh, got a few waffles here no dose waffle oh, i went the wrong way yeah feels good grim i appreciate you a ton um, thank you so much for sending this my way. I hope you enjoy the things that I sent your way. I really look forward to whatever you decide to do with it. Um, I will definitely be taking advantage of this gorgeous integration work uh, done on the grip on this hammer shot and turning this into something pretty special that I will probably actually take to games because, um, you know, I've been kind of back and forth on the hammer shot ever since the Max Outlaw came out. Uh, and this kind of, turns me back onto it and kind of makes me want to play with one again. <laughs> anyway, with that, um, I've got a lot of stuff to do for Foam News Collective and for <laughs> the Family Foam Sport Shift. So until next time, I'll see you on the field. Hey friends, it's KT and this is the box. Uh, that was incredibly awkward. I am sort of shifting my efforts as Family Focus. Amazing. All right, it's now a few weeks after I recorded the Monarch video. I still have not edited, finished editing it or released it. Let's try it again. And until next time, I'll see you on the field. Good work. And until next, and until next time, I'll see you on the field. Damn it, again. And until next time, I'll see you on the field.